vlog from my phone. And you know, I haven't really been vlogging because remember the in the royal wedding, there's this viral picture right now that's going out. It's with um, everyone having their phones out as Megan is passing. And there's this grandmother who um, is just enjoying the moment, no phone out. She's just enjoying the moment. Well, this whole trip, this whole experience, having my products in being sold in Macy's, I really don't want to, like, I haven't felt the need to pull out a camera and document every single moment. The first, my first instinct was to myself was, Mare, I just want to take it in and I just want to enjoy it because, you know, like the next moments are, they're going to be like really stressful because they're always going to be about numbers. And this is also about numbers, but you know, you got to enjoy the first, you never forget your first. So, um, so yeah, so today is Thursday, I think, and I'm going to start the day a little late by going to, um, one of my favorite bakeries here in San Antonio. And this area is called the Pearl. Pretty, pretty popular in San Antonio. I hate coming here because parking's always hard to find. People are ever, everywhere. There's no day where it's quiet, but you know, whatever. sweet moment for me because this is the last week that I'll be here um, so you know I've got I've learned a lot as far as retail and being a brand owner it's very rare that a brand owner even gets this experience because in most cases they don't allow you to be here <laughs> but I didn't care I was just like you know what I am coming here hell or high water I will be there selling it myself um, so yeah, I've got a crash course in retail, um, and this is what I want to say to all of the brand owners and product owners out there. You have not arrived just because you are picked up in a department store. You have to work at it because the mentality of customers walking into a store like Macy's or J.C. Penney's or Dillard's is they are going to products that they know because if you look around um, every brand every the floor is broken up by brands so you know that's Tommy Hilfiger here that's Ralph Lauren right here and on and on and on and on and on and people are gravitating towards brands that they know um, so you know you've got to be here in their faces saying Hey, my name's Mare. Your name is not Mare. My name is Mare. And this is something that I have. This is a new product I want to introduce you to. On and on and on and on, etc., etc., etc. So that's that's how you do it, and that's how you break into retail, um, so that you become, you know, a familiar name, a familiar brand, a familiar face. Because when people buy, it's based off trust. So that's what I want to say. I have actually changed the. I've changed the, I'm going to go this way, I've changed the uh, layout of my design several times, so I've changed this ooh, three times in one month because um, in the beginning the scarves did not stand out. The scarves were right here, all of them. And so now there's one scarf here that you can see the full pattern. The fragrance of course will always be the standout because it's what I'm known for. And, you know, I was able to convince the uh, visual team to 
let me borrow one of their mannequins and style it in a way, in a French way. Um, because this is an Italian, though this is an Italian silk scarf, the French know how to tie it best. Yeah, I did say that. So um, I got to put my personality, my style into um, the visual display. So these scarves are all styled by me. These are all different ways that I've worn it. And you can't really tell, but that is braided together. It's not knotted, it's braided to in a loop. That is wrapped to, in that style. I should go closer, y'all wanna see this. This is cute, I learned this from the French. All right, so, you see now this is braided. This is a braided style. This is a loop style, so that just means it was looped together to get that effect. Um, so yeah. By doing that, I got to um, talk more about my brand and take up more of their time. See, so that's the strategy there. Um, and you know, yeah, it's been great. It's hard work. I am here every day. Um, I am on hooked on energy drinks, clean energy drinks. Um, and that's how I've made this happen, and that's how I've made this work. Retail is no joke. It's not easy it's not easy convincing people that want to buy their favorite chanel to buy mayor but you know um i have been told that i'm very charismatic and i use that to my advantage um and the scent really just smells good i really did a great job on this if i can toot my own own horn and pat my own self on the back it wasn't just me i worked with the team to put this whole display together worked with the Macy's team to, you know, kind of connect it all and get everything that I wanted um, out of it, out of it, you know? Um, and that's another thing. The Macy's team is like, whoosh, you know? You tell them what they want and they give it to you. So you gotta be specific um, and know what you want. I'm just trying to show you guys everything. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good experience and um, yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>